Biological invasions pose an enormous threat to South Africa's ecosystem and the services they deliver. Well, this is according to the South African National Biodiversity Institute. The institution has launched South Africa's first comprehensive national scale assessment of the status of biological invasions. The report has found that over 2,000 alien species have established populations outside of cultivation or captivity in South Africa. It has also named alien plants as the most diverse, widespread, and damaging group of invaders in South Africa. For more on this, I'm joined by Dr. Sibataulu Rashao, who is the Director of Invasive Monitoring and Reporting at the South African National Biodiversity Institute. Um, Good evening, Doc. Thanks very much um, for your time. You know, whenever we talk about this subject, to many people it sounds all complicated and sophisticated and something that is way beyond the understanding, mm -hmm. you know, of mm -hmm. many people. Do you agree? Good evening and good evening to the viewers, uh, the viewers and thanks for the invitation. Um, I Really, biological invasions or invasive species is quite a complex issue. Complex in the sense that it's something that you, we, you and I are interacting with on a daily basis. For example, the food that we eat, one way or the other, does not come from this country. It comes from elsewhere. For example, bananas, uh, uh, potatoes, uh, tomatoes, and all of that come from at least one part of the country. And the movements have been made easy because of the transport system that we have. And it's quite easy for us to, to, to really think that that's complex because of the, 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 the everyday life in, well, on which we interact with these alien species. They're alien in the sense that they come from one part of the country or one part of the world, and then they come here and we interact with, with them on, on a daily basis. So the complexity here is there is simply because uh, one would not understand or would not know what alien species are because we talk about alien species, and at the same time we talk about invasive species. So I think this is a platform and, and an opportunity to really tease that out and explain and, and, and explain Why about that. Yeah. would you call bananas from another country or jurisdiction alien? What is the significance of that? Because someone else will argue that it doesn't help us in understanding the dangers that come with bringing these to our country. Yeah. So the dangers really have been dealt with in terms of as they escape from being managed by humans. So the example that we made of bananas, where they, they come from one part of the country or one part of the world, and they come into the country, and we manage them we, we, in, in captivity or as a crop. We manage, it, we, we manage them, we water them, and we, 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 we harness them in terms of food and all of that. But what we are talking about here is probably a, a organisms, plant species, or uh, or, or animals which are being transported from elsewhere from other parts of the country and they come into the in, in, into the republic for example and then as they start to replicate and establish and spread and therefore cause uh, uh, impacts that's what we are dealing with we are dealing with those species that have now escaped from being managed by humans have escaped from being in captivity are now into the wild and now cause impacts and the impacts are quite broad and we can talk about impacts on the ecosystem services in terms of the water supply we can talk about impacts in the health sector in terms of them increasing the 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 the, 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 the probability of health hazards they can be health they hazards are taking more water than they should absolutely and this is what is posing the dangers that you have identified how do we deal with this or how is whoever is best positioned to deal with this handling it so a number a number of entities are actually dealing with so government from the environment department of environmental affairs is a sole custodian especially of the national environmental management biodiversity act which actually manages the the, the, the which manages the introduction of alien species and also manages how you deal with invasive species and and and, and the responsibilities are quite, quite quite broad in terms of what they deal with with biosecurity and and then deal with permitting and all of that now the 
entity that I work for, which is the South African National Biodiversity Institute, this is where we have the responsibility to tell the public or to make the public know about the status of, the, of this invasive species. Where are they coming in and then which areas are they invading and how are, we deal, how are we doing in terms of the effectiveness of interventions that we are taking or effectiveness of the legislation that we have, hence the status report that we have written I'm about Can to I talk about. Can I ask you to, to skip a step? Because you know where these things are, the dangers that they pose. Hmm. Let me come to then your job. Sure. What are you asking people to do with everything that you know, the dangers these things pose? What are you asking ordinary people who don't know where these things are and how to deal with them? Hmm. What are you asking them to do? So I'm asking the public, first of all, to know that we do have alien invasive species that which are really organisms that are coming from other parts of the world and I'm also asking them to, it's part of really advocacy we are doing in terms of them understanding that this species actually do cause a number of impacts. For example, in some instances, especially in the Kimberley area, for example, the species or a prosopis species has actually uprooted some of the tombstones that we have and therefore accessibility into the tombstones so this this has affected the accessibility to the graveyards in, in some instances, and really that affects the cultural issues that we have. So it's not only a biodiversity issue, it's not only a, an ecosystem services issue, it's really about an impact in the, in the daily lives that you and I are engaged in. An ordinary in. person yeah. doesn't know that my uncle's grave um, is all... In, in like the tombstone is in pieces because of this plant that has got this big name. Hmm. So how then, what am I supposed to do? In other words, in your awareness process, what are you hmm. asking me to do? So I'm asking really for you to, one, first of all, know what they are and also know what the impacts are and then helping government and everybody to deal with them in terms of management. And government has got, uh, together with us at the South African National Biodiversity Institute, we have got uh, mechanisms in terms of how do we let the public, ordinary person, to know what the impacts are of the species, what they are, how are they affecting you, your daily lives, and all of that. Some of the impacts are into economy. So, for example, at the moment, government is spending 1.6 billion rands a year in terms of money Managing invasive species and this this money is really spent on jobs is spent on as you know we're dealing I mean way back in 1995 uh, the, the then Minister of Water Affairs uh, Kada Asma and and Dr. Guy Preston had the project called the working for water which is still at the, at, at the moment uh, 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 ongoing so this was really to manage invasive species in terms of how they they are drinking the water that we need so much and also in terms of how do you provide jobs to the ordinary people from the rural areas in, in dealing with this invasive species. So all we can do is that they are actually affecting this, uh, uh, affecting us in terms of the economy. The money that we're spending on that, that 1.6 billion, which is still not enough. I mean, the impacts that they are causing are almost 6 billion a year, but we are only, government is only spending about 1.6 1. 6, 1. billion, and we actually do deal with that in, 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 the, in the report in terms of how do you manage the invasive species and all of that. So that money could have been spent elsewhere in other priority areas, but we're actually dealing with the species. In some instances, the species themselves occur in areas and therefore the value of that land differs because of the existence of the invasive species. I'm, mm. I'm hoping we'll find more time to talk about this. It's not something we can no uh, really do in a few minutes.